Using 2D physics effectors, it's possible to change the behavior of objects in our 2D physics simulation. In this lesson, we're going to look at the surface effector 2D and platform effector 2D effector types. The surface effector allows us to add physics forces to 2D objects which trigger or collide with it. In our example scene, we'll use a surface effector to create a conveyor belt style effect, which will move objects along the surface of a collider as they drop onto it. In this scene, we have an object which spawns coins. The coins have a sprite renderer, Circle Collider 2D, and Rigid Body 2D attached. When we play our scene, we can see that the coins fall from the hat onto our platform. On our platform, we have a Sprite Renderer, Box Collider 2D, and Surface Effector 2D attached. In the Box Collider 2D, the Used by Effector field is set to True. This specifies that this is the collider to be used by the Surface Effector 2D. Is Trigger is set to False because we want our objects to collide with the edge of the collider, at which point the Surface Effector will move them along the collider's edge. In the settings for our Surface Effector 2D component, the speed is set to 10. This means that objects that collide with our conveyor object will be moved to the right. To move objects to the left, we can use a negative value. The speed variation field allows us to add a randomized variation to the force added up to the value specified. If we want to subtract force, we can use a negative number in the speed variation field. If we set a speed variation value of 20 in this case, we'll have forces applied at a magnitude between 10 and 30. As we play our scene, we can see that some of our coins overshoot the second set of platforms, whereas some land on it. To demonstrate the force scale property, we've added a 2D character controller to our scene. The force scale property allows us to scale the force being added to objects in contact with the surface effector 2D. At a value of zero, no force will be applied. At a value of one, the force being applied by the surface effector will counter any other forces being applied to the object. Currently, surface effectors two, three, and four here have a force scale value of 0.1. As we can see, it's still possible for the player character to run against the direction that the surface effectors are trying to move him in. If we highlight our three effectors and set the force scale to 1, we'll see that although the player character can modify the extent to which he's being moved, he's being moved much more strongly. To demonstrate the Use Contact Force property of the Surface Effector 2D, we've created a new game object called Falling Plank. Falling Plank has a Box Collider 2D and a Rigid Body 2D attached. We've set the speed of the three Surface Effector objects underneath it to 100. When we play our scene, we can see that the falling plank falls onto the surface effectors and is moved quickly to the right. Setting Use Contact Force to True on the three surface effectors will cause the force to be applied at the point on the collider where contact is made. This may cause the object being affected to rotate. The Platform Effector 2D allows us to create platforms in 2D games which characters can pass through when jumping from beneath them 
and then land on top once they're above. In our example scene here, we have our Mr. Bean character from the 2D platformer project on the Asset Store. Our game object, Platform Effector, has the Platform Effector component added to it, along with a Box Collider 2D and Sprite Renderer. The Collider Mask parameter in our Platform Effector 2D determines what layers this will collide with. In this case, it's set to everything. The key parameter for this component is the one-way field. When one-way is on, characters will be able to pass from beneath the platform through it and land on top of it. When use one-way is off or set to false, they'll collide with the underside of the platform. The side friction and side bounce parameters determine whether the bounce and friction parameters of the current Physics 2D material will be applied to the sides of the platform when characters collide with it. Let's temporarily set our Box Collider 2D's material to our material called Bouncy, which has a bounciness setting of 1 and a friction setting of 0.4. When falling towards the platform from above, the player will now bounce off the sides. Turning on side friction means that when falling from above, the player can stick to the sides of the platform using the physic material's friction setting. The side angle variance defaults to zero, which means that the platform collider is a rectangle and that the sides are at 90 degree angles to the bottom and top. To adjust these side angle shapes, you can adjust the side angle variance by degrees to fit other non-rectangular shapes. In this example, we've added a modified sprite with 45 degree edges. We've added a Polygon Collider 2D and Platform Effector 2D components. The Platform Effector 2D has Use One Way set to True, and we've set the side angle variance to 45 degrees so that the slanted edges of the platform can be treated as sides. We've also added our 2D physics material Bouncy to our Polygon Collider 2D. When we play our scene with Use Side Bounce unchecked for the Platform Effector 2D, we'll see that the player initially slides down the sides of the platform. When we turn Use Side Bounce on, the physics material Bouncy will be applied to the sides of the platform, and we'll see that the player will bounce off of them. As you can see, the Surface Effector 2D and Platform Effector 2D components offer some interesting possibilities for game mechanics. Hopefully this has given you some ideas for your own projects. For more detail, please see the information linked below.